never give myself a good old drink. Oh, that's good right there. This here is a cherry limey from the local Sonic. <laughs> Anyways, drive through business. Just myself. Miss Tiffany on the Facebooks wanted me to do an advice segment. She said, I would like to see a Big Rod advice segment where you give advice. And I said, God damn, that's genius. Because I'm a genius. I got advice for days. So, I thought I'd give y'all some advice. I'm going to be taking questions on the Facebook. Leave a message on my page or whatever you want to do. Now, also, Miss Tiffany was bitching about my dirty face. I can't help it that I work on cars every day. I can't help that I get dirty and then have to do vidges. I ain't got time for showers in between the vidges and the working on cars. So, just this once, I washed my face for the venture. So Miss Tiffany won't have to bitch no more about my dirty ass. Look here, Tiffany. I'm clean. You might be a part of the Illuminatis. You like everything super clean? Go back to the super clean government building with your fake ass reptilian peoples. Anyways, Miss Tiffany wanted to know what to do about her neighbors. Apparently her neighbors was causing problems. She also gave me some well wishes. Thank you, baby. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but I'm still sick. Anyways, this here, I do feel better though. Thank you for the well wishes. I do mean that sincerely. Now what to do about your neighbors? Well, I wish you would have been more for specific because I don't know if your neighbors is being loud. I don't know if they's revving up the cars at night. I don't know if they just, in general, bothering you in the yard and stuff. But anyways, this is what I would do. Now I'm gonna give you three scenarios. Say your neighbors is being loud and you want them to calm down. Step one, go over there and say, hey, you being loud during my sleeping hours. I can't think, I can't sleep. You're driving me crazy. Could y'all please just cool it? That's one right there. Now, if they don't cool it, then you go back over there another day and instead of asking nicely, you do step two, right here. Which is, knock on the door and very unpolitely say, listen here you some bitch. If y'all don't quiet the fuck down, I'ma come take a shit on your goddamn porch and slap your kids around. I ain't fucking around no more. Y'all be quiet or I'ma get violent. That's what you tell them. And if they don't like that, then you tell them to suck your dick or eat your pussy, or fuck off. And if they're Muslims, just tell them to go the hell away from my country. If I had Muslim neighbors, I got shotguns. I'd go fire it at the house and tell them to get on. Anyways, now, two. That was two. Step three. If the problem persists, this is what you do. You start raising hell. You wait till their house is quiet. Then you raise all kinds of hell. You go shoot guns in the yard, you start fires at night. You knock on the door and ask if they got any sugar at three in the morning. You shit on the porch and you piss in your motherfucking mailbox. And then tell them to kiss your ass. Wipe your ass on the goddamn doorknob so when they open it to come home, they get shit on the hands. You heard me. Now, if they're not being noisy, say, just say, they're not being noisy. Say, they like to get naked. And you see them naked all the time because they don't put the windows down. You first of all, ask politely. Second of all, tell them to go straight to hell. And if that don't work, every day at the same precise time, you stick your ass out the window and shit in the yard. You heard me. You make them watch you shit. All right, and uh, just a little, whoa, whoa, missing a little bit, that's okay. Because you've told them once that you don't like the nudity. You've told them twice authoritatively that you don't like the nudity. Third time's a charm, every day when you know they're looking, stick your ass, hang it out the window, and shit. And then, if they have something to say, you tell them, I asked you nicely, now you're gonna watch me shit every time you look outside. A thank you. Now, this is the one that would bother me, because I know sometimes I love the dogs, but look here. Some neighbors teach their dogs to do the business in your yard. Now, 
If these neighbors is a teaching the dog to do their business in your yard, what? Go over and ask nicely, tell them, keep your dog out of my yard, please. She's been shitting in it. Now, two. If they didn't take the first one, you give them two right here. You say, motherfucker, your dog is a shitting in my goddamn yard. If you don't quit it, we're going to have problems. Now, if that don't take care of it, and the dog is still coming over there, here's what you do. The next time that dog comes to take a shit in your yard, hold it down, put a firecracker in its ass, light it up. It won't kill the dog, but it will be an intense pain. And when they come to bitch at you, be like, well, I thought I told you to keep your goddamn dog out my yard. You want to know what I did to my neighbors once? Oh, God damn. This here, this is what I did to my neighbors once. Oh, man, it was funny. Look, they kept checking my mailbox. I mean, we had mailboxes next to each other. They would check their mail. Then they would check my mail. All right, so this is what I did. I plastic wrapped their entire mailbox, right? Door and all, but it was super clear where they couldn't tell. They kept pulling on it and couldn't get it open. Look here, when they finally got it open, I had my nephew. I had one of his dirty shitty diapers inside of there, which is why I vacuum sealed it. I basically vacuum sealed the thing. When they opened it, boy, that smell hit them like an old ghastly touch of death. I know it did, because I was looking out the window. Them so bitches was throwing up out the car. Oh, they were throwing up out the car. <laughs> from your neighbors. Here's the last thing. If you got a gun, if all else fails, goes over there with a gun. I'm sorry, I'm still laughing about the dirty shit smells. Go over there with a gun. Knock on the door. When they open the door, do this. Like that right there. Put the gun in the goddamn face and tell them, y'all can go to hell. I told you once, I told you twice, I told you three times as a charm, motherfucker. You stop fucking with me or I'm gonna blow a hole in your ass. Most people would say, call the police. Don't call the police. Handle it yourself. Be a real woman or a real man and tell your neighbors to go suck a big fat Muslim dick. Shit. Until next time, this was today's advice from Mr. Big Rod Budnick, baby. Bye.